today's video is super, super cool. And it's something that I got the idea for after doing a little survey on Instagram. I asked people kind of what their reservations about Cricut was and if they haven't bought one, why they haven't bought one yet. And I got a lot of great responses. And one of them was just about having to learn a new piece of software and I totally get that there's definitely a, a learning curve it's small especially if you're familiar with you know software using programs on your computer but even if you're not I really do feel like they have made it as simple as they possibly can and I want to show you some of the simplest projects you can do on design space and I used those for this um, springtime pillow and also it's re reverse side, the bless your heart side. So now that I have both of these pillows completely done, I'll show you the other one at the end of the video. Um, I wanna show you how easy it is to use Cricut Design Space to get a design like this. This takes zero creativity on your part, um, just a few clicks on your computer and you're on your way. So I'm gonna take you to a screen share and I'm gonna walk you through all the steps in design space on how to get that vinyl cut. So let's go to the computer. Okay, the first thing you need to do is go to Cricut Design Space. Design Space is a desktop application. You do not go to the internet to access it. You do the first time just to get it downloaded and then once you have it there, then it lives in your desktop applications. Once you get here, you will need to if you've never done it before, create an account and all of that stuff. But once all that basic stuff and they prompt you through everything, um, once all that basic stuff is done, then this is where you will land every time you come to Design Space after that. So you can see these are all of my projects. And then if you scroll down, they'll give you some inspiration projects um, that you can look through as well. But in order to make one of those pillows, uh, you would just need to click on new project. And then up here, you can choose which machine you're going to be using to cut it. The Joy is the smallest. You can only cut something at most four and a half inches wide. So that one is out for a pillow this size. So you can either cut it on Maker or your Cricut Explore. So we're gonna leave ours on Explore and I'm gonna to go to Images. And then you can search more than 100,000 Cricut images. Obviously they have it narrowed down a little bit for you here, but I'm actually gonna search Spring Quotes because for my pillows, I like to have one side be sort of graphic and the other side be uh, some kind of word art. So I will just scroll through here and we are also looking for um, one layer. Um, so that's gonna be a cut only and that's just because we're not gonna be drawing on the fabric. We're not gonna be you know, doing it, scoring, any of that kind of stuff. We're only gonna be cutting out the vinyl. So we can narrow this down to cut only. Also in the layers, you can do single layer. Um, you can do multi layers when it comes to vinyl, but to keep things super simple for you guys, let's just narrow it all down to a single layer. So these are gonna be all of your options for like a springtime pillow. And you can go through here and what I like to do is find one that I'm like, oh, that's kind of cute. That would be sweet. So I'll click that and you can see it puts a little um, preview of it right down here. And then I'll keep going and I'll be like, oh, that's sweet. And then it adds that there. And then I'll keep going, keep going. And I'll just, you know, click on a whole bunch of them that I think, think are really, really cute. And once, you know, You've spent enough time scrolling through this. I mean, there are, I mean, thousands of images. So you're going to, you can scroll through spring and spring quotes forever and ever and ever. Um, but once you feel like you've got a good selection of options, you can insert images and then it's going to populate them on this canvas for you. And at this point, you want to separate them all out like so. I will kind of look at all of these and I will think, 
okay, what, it's funny, they kind of all look the same. Um, you know, which one do I really want for my pillow? I'll narrow it down. So I think I'm gonna choose Sweet Spring. So I'll take these and I will just click on them and delete, click and delete. So I'm left with the one that I really, really, really love. Um, getting all of those images onto the canvas at once just helps me kind of compare them and just make sure that um, I'm choosing the one that I really, really love. So now I'm gonna select the image and I need to resize it. I need to make it bigger. So you can either do that by selecting this little double-sided arrow and you can see as you do that, the inches on the top and the bottom will grow or decrease depending on. But if you have a very specific um, width that you want it to be, you can just choose that from here, highlight it, and then adjust it that way. So I know my pillows are 21 inches um, wide. And so I like to do an image that's about half the size of the overall, you know, square footage, square inches, inchage. <laughs> I don't know what the term is. Um, but what you have to be careful of is that you do not go over uh, 11 and a half inches. If you do that, you will get a little triangle warning sign here it says image is too large you have to have it 11 and a half inches or less so I'll say okay and I'll go 11.5 and then it goes away but 11.5 is still too big for my pillows so I'm just going to keep it at 10 okay so now we've got our image here it is set to cut if we were going to be doing a tutorial on anything else I'd explain what these things are but it's set to cut you can change the color if you want. It's not gonna do anything for us because we've only got the one layer for the one image. Again, very, very basic tutorial today. And then the fill, this is not anything that we have to concern ourselves with right now. We're simply cutting one layer of um, a vinyl. So at this point, you're done. You are gonna go to make it and it is going to sort your project by mats, but we only have one mat because we have one image that's one color, okay? And then because we are doing the iron-on vinyl, we do need to mirror it, which just literally flips it so that whenever you press it onto your um, fabric, it reads the right way. If you were doing any, pretty much anything other than iron on, I think, you would not have the mirror on. Um, and if you had a, an image that was longer than 11 and a half inches, you could bring up your mat size, but we don't need to use a 24 inch mat because our image is small enough that we can just do it on the 12 by 12. So now you're going to continue. Okay, and at this point, you want to make sure that your machine is on and that it connects to your Bluetooth or that you have it plugged in through the USB, whichever option you're using. So it has found my machine and my material is set to cardstock because that's what my machine is set to. This is for the Explore Air here. If I were on the Maker, um, let's see if I can fudge it, um, let's do all this over again and change this to maker. Okay, now I've got all that set up. We would mirror it again and select continue. It's going to find my maker via Bluetooth. And because the maker has so many materials, you get to choose your material. So they'll do some popular ones here, uh, lighter, like some fabric options, some iron on options, vinyl, cardstock, all of that. We are going to be using the everyday iron on, but I just want to show you if you click browse all materials, you can see just how many different types of materials the maker will cut, including all of this fabric. It's really awesome. Um, but you can also search through here. Like if I'm um, doing like cotton batting, I'll type in batting and it'll, it'll bring up either insole bright or just regular quilt batting. So it is very um, thorough and the 
options are almost always there that I'm looking for. But we're gonna choose the everyday iron on, and then it's just gonna make sure, see right here, make sure mirror is turned on and iron on material is shiny side down. And then it's going to prompt you to put in your fine point blade and at the machine, if you could see it, you would see this button is flashing. You would insert your mat and press this button and you would be off to the races. As you can see, they really have a lot of beautiful designs in Design Space that you can choose from that will fit whatever your decor is. And it's really a matter of clicking, resizing, and then letting your Cricut do the rest of the work. So I'm going to show you guys my springtime pillows that I have made sort of as inspiration for you all. Keep in mind, this one is the only one that I've used iron-on vinyl on. The other one, I didn't use any decor, any extra embellishment at all for Valentine's Day side. And then for the springtime side, I did the same process. I just used a little bit more of a complicated material uh, and that is the infusible ink. If you wanna just do a quick one color vinyl iron on, it's as easy as I just showed you. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments section below. I have links to where you can find all the materials that I use, including my Cricut Maker, the vinyl, the easy press, everything. So check the description box. Here's how you get to it. Lots of great information in there in all of my videos. So get in the habit of checking it out. And okay, yeah, that's gonna do it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you very soon. Bye.